If this is accurate, if Elon Musk is actually telling the truth, and he could be, Tesla stock price is about to bump. I mean, probably about to bump quite a lot because if full self-driving is approved in China, then that market is far bigger than the US market. We're talking more than 1.3 billion people. The US has just over 300 million. And people in China would probably take up this service much quicker than what people in the United States would. I mean, China is, most people live in cities. Yeah, they don't want to have to drive. They'd much prefer to get a robo taxi if they can. This market is enormous. It could massively improve Tesla's actual ability to make money. Musk has just said that China will fully approve Tesla's full self-driving. He's given a date for when he thinks it's going to happen. I think it's probably a good chance this will happen. Here are the details of what we know so far. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. China. Very interesting because Tesla's full self-driving does not work as well in China as it does in the United States. That is a fact. If you want to disagree with that, you simply haven't tested it in both China and the United States. I don't know why. I'm not sure why this is. I guess the, the truth is it is a little different driving on the roads in China. I do have a Chinese driver's license and I can tell you, yeah, it is definitely easier to drive in the United States than in China because there's a lot of chaos in China. People don't indicate, which I think is crazy. There's cameras all over the roads in China, but they don't, for some reason, ever find people for doing crazy illegal stuff that would definitely cause massive pileups and crashes in the West. It's um, therefore kind of hard. You would think for Tesla's full self-driving to kind of predict what's going to happen because you can't predict it. People just do wild stuff. And I mean, when I say wild stuff, I'm not talking about once a day. I'm talking about every second of every day. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. Um, so driving there is, can be quite stressful. Now, if you're driving in a regional area or something like that, it's not a big deal because people pull out and it doesn't really matter that much. But when you're driving when it's, there's a fair bit of traffic and people pull out from nowhere, which they do, they don't even look. They just think, well, I'm the best in the world. There's a bit of arrogance there. They think I'm the best in the world. Um, you should move for me. I don't care about the road rules. I'm the road rules. That's the, that's the sort of the in, entitlement that some people have. They kind of see... I think a lot of people in China, they kind of see still they sort of see a case system and they think I'm at the top of the case system. You will, you're in a uh, cheaper car than me. Uh, that's my perception. I don't know if this is true, but it does feel that way. And some people just don't care. They probably don't have that perception. They just don't care. It's like, whatever. I'm aggressive, dominant. I'll do what I want and you'll bow down to me. So you don't really get that in the US. You get, or Australia or other countries in the West, you get a few dickheads, but you, for the most part, people follow the road, the road rules. So it's pretty predictable what people are going to do. They indicate most of the time, you know, almost all the time. But in China, I don't know how Tesla's full self-driving can predict and how other cars self-driving from other manufacturers in China can predict the um, kind of the inconsistencies of drivers over there. It's sort of, I don't know how they do it. And therefore, you can see why Tesla's full self-driving isn't as good in China as it is in America. However, um, China is expected to fully approve Tesla's advanced full self-driving features, as in full self-driving, really basically the same thing, according to Elon Musk. He said this, we have partial approval in China and hopefully we'll have full approval in China around February or March or so, or so. Musk said during Tesla's annual shareholder meeting on Thursday, according to Bloomberg. That's what they've told us, he said. So why would it take until March or so if that's what they've told Tesla? It's kind of a little vague, isn't it? Anyway, Tesla's, Tesla's advanced features currently hold partial approval in China, enabling the US maker to conduct testing. Why do tests have been paused though as Tesla has yet to receive full approval from Chinese regulators, said the Bloomberg report. 
On February 25 this year, Tesla began rolling out advanced smart driving features in China similar to full self-driving, though the term FSD was avoided in this initial introduction. So, the feature's name was later changed in China from full self-driving capability to full self-driving intelligent assisted driving. So that's the name, assisted driving, intelligent assisted driving. That's what it's called now. Tesla have removed FSD. So in China, it's not called FSD. It's just called intelligent assisted driving. And I'm guessing that's so that they can avoid any lawsuits if people put it on full self-driving and there's crashes and accidents, which may or may not be the Tesla's fault. It could be other people's fault. In fact, probably a good chance it would be. My solar and batteries. I've got a 50 kilowatt hour battery here and I've got a big solar array. So I pay $0 for electricity. That's including charging my electric car. Resync Solar is the company that I used. I'll put a link to them in the description below. On the 17th of March, Tesla announced it would allow eligible vehicles to experience full self-driving features free of charge until April 16. That was in China. CNF Post says that Tesla subsequently suspended this free trial, stating on Weibo that it needed to complete approval for the smart driving assistance software. Basically, the Chinese government said to Tesla, no, 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 not so fast. You're not allowed to do that. Over the past few years, says CNF Post, Tesla has allowed Chinese automakers to purchase the full self-driving software package for $9,000 US dollars, which is 64,000 RMB. But since FS full self-driving is unusable in China, Tesla sales staff do not recommend customers purchase the feature. By contrast, most domestic automakers, including Xiaopeng and BYD, provide their ADAS, Advanced Driver Assistance System, features free of charge, and do have, like, for example, Xpeng has NGP, and other brands have similar features. But to be honest, my opinion is, Tesla's full self-driving in the United States, I know this is not China, but Tesla's full self-driving in the United States, having used it, and then having used some full self-driving systems from other brands in China, it's much better. It is. I don't, it's not even comparable, in my opinion. Tesla's full self-driving in the US is much better it is, and I think other automakers would admit to this, versus what their software is in China. Now, I know it's China, so it's, we're comparing apples with oranges here, but I think Tesla will be able to get it approved based on its capabilities. It's very, very capable. But there will be some training needed for things like um, random stuff that happens in China that doesn't really happen in the US. You don't get these kind of food carts on the road and some, a lot more random situations in China. Tesla's appeal in China is well, waning, say analysts, necessitating new selling points to boost vehicle attractiveness. Yeah, to be fair, the truth is Tesla sales have gone down this year, but not a lot, only about 5% in China. So it's still doing pretty well. However, in October, its number of exports were 61,500. That includes sales in China. So yeah, figures were down a little bit in the month of October. September, though, was a really good month. In September, actually, Tesla sold 71,000 vehicles in China alone. So I think all this media stuff about Tesla's um, failures in China is a bit overblown. It's not really based on logic. The truth is Tesla's still doing pretty well in China. It's just not the only maker. There's a lot of other brands selling cars for much lower prices than Tesla with similar features. So Tesla posi positions itself as a price premium product. Um, so you've got to pay more for a Tesla than you do for similar cars from other automakers in the country. And that allows Tesla to make a profit. So that's the one good thing that they have going for them. But it does mean that customers now often will choose another product. Does it mean, though, that Tesla is trying to use full self-driving as a gimmick in China to get more sales? I don't think it does. I think Tesla have invested more, more time and money than any other automaker in the world, by far, in their full self-driving features. And I think it's real. I think it will, will happen in China. Will it be able to drive like a robo-taxi? That's going to take quite a while. Like I said, there's robo-taxis, big challenges for them in China. Guys, there is a bit of a misleading information on YouTube about this stuff, by the way. Like people show these videos and say, look at this amazing robo-taxi in China. You can get in it and it will drive for you. And there are robo-taxis that can do certain routes in China and they do them pretty well. But I've also seen robotaxis driving in China that do crazy shit, like run through red lights. And I saw that in my last trip there. And that was one of the, that was one of the main brands that 
is officially licensed and you can go and sit in the car. And I saw it blow a red light. I'm like, what is that? It wasn't testing. That was one of the official cars driving around. So, you know, it's not, it's kind of um, a bit kind of misleading some of the stuff you're seeing on YouTube and people saying, oh, I went to China and I did this robot taxi ride. It was wonderful. But that's on the kind of similar routes to what um, Waymo do in the US where they do a pre-map route. They go the same route pretty much. They kind of have high definition geofenced areas where they can kind of learn those areas and, and drive in those areas. And generally they work pretty well. They sometimes they, you know, can have issues, but generally they're pretty good. But it's a different world when you look at Xpeng and Tesla, what they're trying to do, where they're trying to go no HD maps. Just drive and be able to think and be able to kind of analyze the situation. That means off-roading. That means like doing all kinds of driving. That means driving in snow and driving in all these different scenarios, which you know, the other companies with HD maps, they're not equipped for that kind of driving. So it's a different thing. And comparing the two is misleading. The analysts always do this. They compare uh, full self-driving um, all the time, Tesla full self-driving with Waymo. And I understand why, but it is two different systems and it's worth keeping that in mind. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.